please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Kyle Shimorn, and welcome to the third installment of GTV's very own sports show, The Hammer. And I'm Tessa Balk. That's right. We have all of our sports recaps and reports. It's Hammer, Hammer Time. Welcome back, Geneva. It's Friday, March 6, 2020, and here are your sports updates. Let's start with our let's start off our winter recap with our boys basketball team who is still battling in the IHSA playoffs. Over the course of the year, they have gone 17 and 12 and 5 and 8 in conference. The team has been led by senior Josh Preston and Dylan Fusak, and junior Dylan Fusak, who have been putting up monster performances. One of those monster performances was shown just last Wednesday night by Josh Preston, who put up 23 points in a 46-32 route over Matia Valley. By winning the regional semifinal that Wednesday night, the boys move on to the regional final game against Whedon Warrenville South. This game is tonight at 7 p.m. in the contest gym. The bigger the crowd, the better, because this is a huge playoff game. While the season is over for the Lady Vikes, the Geneva girls varsity basketball team left their mark on Geneva High School as co-conference champs and competitors in the sectional final for the 2019-2020 season. Overall, the Vikings went 25-7 and 12-2 in conference. The team was led by senior captains Lindsey Blackmore and Katie Montgomery. GHS thanks you both and the rest of the seniors for your commitment to the basketball program. We can't wait to see what you all do in the future. And coming up later, GTV reporter Celia Owen shows us exactly how difficult a girls basketball practice can be in her challenge, Celia segment. So many tryouts are going on this week as the spring season starts, and one of those is girls soccer. Around 55 girls decided to try out for the high school team to be involved in a different setting than club. One of those girls is freshman Sadie Crucial. She talked to us about becoming a Lady Vike for the first year. I'm hoping for the opportunity to continually get better and become closer with some of my classmates and continue working on my skills. The girls kick off their season next week where they will begin practices for their upcoming games within the Duquesne Conference. This year is the first year that the girls lacrosse at Geneva High School is considered an IHSA sport. This week trials were held and 40 players showed up to have an opportunity to play on the GHS girls lacrosse team. All the coaches are super excited to have a chance to head to state this year and to start another successful season. Boys volleyball is one of the fastest growing sports at Geneva. You can still sign up to play this season as their tryouts are one week later than all the other spring sports. There are four teams, a freshman A and B, JV and varsity. Freshman coach and alumni of the Geneva varsity program, Brandon Navigato, said the big difference between the freshman and JV level is on the freshman level, you learn how everything works, where on JV, you take those skills and improve upon them. The tryouts are next Monday from 4 to 6, Tuesday 7 to 9.30, and Wednesday from 3 to 5. The Geneva dance team had another high-flying season. The girls were able to win at sectionals and advance the state for the seventh year in a row. At state, they won second place in convincing fashion. The girls say they worked hard at practice, practice sporting events, and their competitions and are determined to go back to state again next year. The girls' gymnastic team tumbled and flipped into a great season led by junior Olivia Takasu. The team placed second in their regional competition and Takasu placed third. She made it all the way to state this season where she scored an 8.5 and had a wonderful floor routine that wowed the crowd. The cheer team had their best season yet. They were the highest scoring team in Geneva High School history, but sadly the girls were only one point away from advancing the state. They are hoping to have an even better season next year. The girls' bowling team also had a great season, placing 12th at the IHSA regional competition. Coach Meister says that five out of the six bowlers graduating this year, they're looking for more people to join next year. And if you do not need to be great at bowling either, the coaches are more than willing to work with you to improve your game. They say scholarships are given out to students and former bowlers have received these scholarships. 
and the boys bowling team has had a very successful season this year. They struck their highest point total when they bowled a score of 6,150 and received a third place trophy at the IHSA regionals and in their IHSA sectionals competition they placed 14th. And the captain of the team and one of our seniors, Tommy Antonson, is also continuing his bowling career at Judson University in Elgin, Illinois. Congrats, Tommy, and to the rest of the team for a striking season. The wrestling team was able to pin down two spots at sectionals. Hank Smith and Ian Huck both made it to sectionals. Huck was one match away from going to state. They also had six other kids who were one match away from going to sectionals. We know all of you have been waiting to see the next segment of our favorite GTV segment. That's right, it's Challenge with Celia, and on this segment, she teams up the girls' basketball team to learn how they ball up at practice. I'm here at the Varsity Girls Basketball Practice with Katie Montgomery. I'm here to see if I can really um, challenge you guys, because you guys are really good this season, so let's see if I can do it. Green! 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 Lens. How do you think I did today? I think you did really good. Yeah? Really good, yep. Yeah, do you think I can make the team next year? Try out. It'll yeah? Be fun. Yeah, senior year, you'll see me on the court, obviously. So thank you for so much for having me at this practice. Back to the desk. Wow, girls basketball really puts in a lot of work and they put Celia to the test. That's right. It's I would be really scared to go there. The girls work so hard at practice and they're so dedicated. Yeah, Celia did such a great job and I if I did it, I probably couldn't even make a shot. <laughs> If you want to try your sport for the final installment of the Hammer Show at the end of the year, contact GTV304 on Instagram. And now here's three announcements to know before we go. The next Book Bites book club meeting will be during PLC April 9th in the Testing Center and they will be reading The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. Anyone interested in, atten in attending the 2020 Duquesne Conference Literary Festival needs to turn in their permission slip from this upcoming Wednesday. See Mrs. Peters in room B126 if you have any questions. And SAD Club meets next Tuesday, March 10th at 7.10 a.m. or 2.55 p.m. in room EE191. New members are always welcome. Well, that, that looks like all of our sports updates for our winter season. I'm Tessa Balk. And I'm Kelsey Horn. Have a fantastic Friday and a safe and fun weekend, Geneva.